Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a working bridge that you don't have to touch the slime blocks. Now, this is not my design. This is by Praxis the Redstoner. I'll have his video in the description below. Just giving a heads up now, it is in Spanish, so you'll pretty much be going there for just the Redstone. Now, I would also like to give a shout out to one of my Twitter followers, Jose Thomas. I hope I said that name right, but he's the one who actually sent me this video on Twitter and showed me it. So, it is pretty much the exact same Redstone. However, I did change it up because his did not have buttons on both sides so this does work on both sides with both buttons and i also change it so you don't have to touch the slime blocks as well so if we come over here and click this button our bridge will pop out and as you can see the slime blocks are underneath the bridge but we don't have to touch the slime blocks at all so now we can go ahead and walk right across our bridge but i'm gonna go ahead and just jump across it so i go quicker and when we get to this side all we have to do is click the button once again and our bridge will extend well retract back in so very simple click the button our bridge extends out we can go ahead and cross our bridge without having to touch any of the slime blocks click the button again and it will retract back in now the only thing bad about this is it does not have a lockout switch but it is still a pretty amazing bridge all right guys so let's go ahead and look at the redstone now here's the redstone for this bridge i did not change up his retraction or his extension because this thing is very simple to make guys and hardly uses any resources whatsoever the only thing i changed up was the inputs right here so we can have a button on both sides i also changed up the bridge so we didn't have to touch the slime blocks and it's also a little bit less likely to break as well his breaks very easily so i changed that up as well but if we click this button the bridge will retract all the way back and then when we click the button again, the bridge will extend all the way back using armor stands to activate our bridge. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. All right, guys. So for this build, you're going to need a 24 by 6 spacing, and you're also going to have to dig down 5. Now, the two red stain clay lines right in between those is where our bridges are going to be extending out and then extending back in. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are four sticky pistons, four regular pistons, six redstone comparators, four redstone repeaters, 54 redstone, two tripwire hooks two buttons we're also going to need 14 slime blocks two armor stands 12 string six immovable objects i'm going to be using obsidian but i highly recommend using furnaces because they're a lot easier to get and we are also going to need two pieces of sand once you have gotten your 24 by 6 spacing and you have gathered all of your resources come to the bottom left hand corner right over here and we're going to count over five blocks so one two three four five and then we're going to count up three blocks one two three and then we're going to place two blocks right here with a sticky piston facing towards our red stain clay line where our bridge is going to be going then we're going to place a slime block in front of that sticky piston and then we're going to come out two blocks from here one two break this block and place another sticky piston facing inwards then right behind this sticky piston right here break this block and place in an immovable object i'm going to be using obsidian but like i said i highly recommend using furnaces next up right above this slime block we're going to place six slime blocks going that way so one two three four five six make sure it is six one two three four five six and then right here at the end we're going to place one of our blocks of choice i'm going to be using stone so it should be coming out four blocks from this red stained clay so one two three four see how it's coming out four from the movable object one two three four next up break the block right underneath your sticky piston right here and place another one to the left hand side next place a piece of redstone dust underneath this sticky piston and then place a comparator going this way away from the sticky piston see how it's facing towards the right where there's two and over here there should be three then right in front of your comparator place two more blocks with two pieces of redstone and then set your comparator to subtraction mode next up we're going to come behind our comparator and put a block right behind it and we're going to make a three by two spacing going all the way to this slime block right here so one two three and then we're going to go one two three making a three by two spacing next up take out your comparators once again and face one going towards your bridge right next to this sticky piston and set it into subtraction mode then right next to this comparator we're going to face another comparator going this way on subtraction mode as well so one should be going towards the bridge and then the furthest one away should be going away from the bridge and we're going to place redstone right behind this one and redstone right in front of it as well next up swing back over here and where our orange stained clay is we're going to come up a block and go this way three more blocks so we already did one right here so one two three so there should be four blocks in total going away from this redstone and then we're just going to swing it back in one two and then come back this way two blocks as well one two so there should be a total of one two three four five six seven eight blocks swinging all the way back around to this sticky piston and place redstone along all of these blocks then we're going to come over here and we're going to bring blocks going all the way to this sticky piston right here 
So bring your blocks going all the way down and then swing in in one going towards your sticky piston. Then we're going to set a repeater going into this piston on one tick delay and put redstone right behind it. And that should be everything done, guys, besides the input. So if you want to test it out real quick, place a button off of any two of these blocks right here. I'm going to place mine over here to this right-hand side. And when we click the button, our bridge should retract all the way back. And then when I click it again, it should extend back out. So click your button and boop. As you can see, it will retract the bridge all the way back until it reaches here. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. We do have to get rid of the block right here. Make sure you get rid of this block right here. So if it pulled it back, just break it right off the end. And then when I click it again, it should extend all the way out. So click the button again. And as you can see, our bridge completely extended out. And that is how everything is working, guys. It is a very simple build. All it is is sending power into these comparators. And then over time, the signal will drop because every time it goes through the comparator, it will lose one of its redstone signal until it completely fades away. And this is the same thing going on down here. It'll keep sending a power to itself. However, while this one is fading, this one will fade as well until it completely stops. So now what we're going to do is completely copy and paste this side over to here and then we're going to set up our inputs once we're done so this is very simple since our bridge is already extended out make sure yours is extended out we're just going to go from here so we're going to place our stone block here and then come out six slime blocks so one two three four five six and then we're going to come down a slime block face a sticky piston going inwards towards that slime block on the bottom so there should be a total of six up here one two three four five six and then this last one seven and then we're gonna have to face another sticky piston going this way into the slime block so just come out two blocks one two break it and then place a sticky piston going inwards then right underneath this sticky piston just make sure it lines up perfectly over here so just come over here on this side it has to be exactly the same as that side so make sure you're on this side right here where we have our one tick going in there and we're going to place a block right underneath this sticky piston like we did before with a piece of redstone underneath it place a block next to it and then going towards this side we're going to place our comparator going this way on subtraction mode place two more blocks in front of them with two pieces of redstone as you can see it's matching that side completely perfectly then we're going to come right behind it with a block up behind our comparator and then come out towards this slime block right here one two three and one two three then we're going to go right next to our sticky piston with our comparator once again facing it towards the bridge and put it into subtraction mode and then face the other one going away going this way on subtraction mode as well with two pieces of redstone on both sides then we're going to swing over here to this side and we're going to come out well let me go right here we're going to come out four blocks going this way so one two three four then come out two one two and then swing it back in two one two make sure you count out just to make sure there's the right amount of blocks so one two three four five six seven and eight then we're going to place redstone all along these blocks and then do the same thing we did over there on this side as well we're just going to bring our blocks going all the way down over to here and then face it in towards this sticky piston Put a repeater going this way on one tick delay with redstone behind it. Then right behind this sticky piston, make sure to place in your immovable object. I'm going to be using my obsidian. And then we can go ahead and test it out to make sure this side of the bridge is working as well. So just place your button here, click it, and it should retract all the way back. And I forgot to break out the block once again. And then click the button again, and it should extend all the way back out to the other side. So now both of our bridges are working perfectly. So now all we have to do is just hook them both together with our inputs, and we will be completely done. All right, guys, so to get things started off with our input, actually, let me go ahead and break this button right here. To get things started off with our inputs, we're going to place a block right here above this piece of redstone. And then we're going to place another block going towards the right and put two pieces of redstone on top of it. Place a block right above this one right here and place your button here. So if I click the button, the redstone down here should come on. Then what we're going to do is swing the blocks out until we reach right here. So put a block here and here with redstone on it. And now we're going to come down a block. So come down a block and then place a piece of redstone dust here. Then we're going to come down another block. So come down another block like that and place a piece of redstone dust here. Then we're going to come down another block going this way towards our wall with another piece of redstone. And then we're going to come down one more block and we're going to place in two pieces of redstone here. So one, two, just like that. Then we're going to go right here and place a piston facing upwards with our sand block on top of it. This will create a monostable circuit. Then coming out of this sand block, we're going to place a repeater going this way on three ticks delay. Then in front of your three tick delay repeater, place in another piston facing upwards by breaking out that block. And then place your armor stand on top of the piston just like that. So if I click the button up here, our armor stand should go up and then it should retract down. Let me just go up down here like this again. So click it, goes up and then goes down. Let's do it again. Click it, goes up and then goes down. Then we're going to swing back down here right above this sand block. We're going to place a block up right above it. Make sure to break out this block. We don't want that there or else it's going to break everything. And then we're going to place a hook off the side of this block. Next up, take out your string and we're going to come out 12 string from here. So one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve once you have come out your 12 string place another block right here next to this comparator with another hook 
on this side. So now that we got our tripwire hooks into place, if I click this button right here, both the bridges should retract and then extend when I click the button again. So click the button, and as you can see, both our bridges will retract back. And then when I click the button again, they should both extend. Now, all we have to do is just hook up the button on this side as well. So let's swing over here. We're going to do the exact same thing we did here on this side as well. So let's go ahead and break that button. We don't need that button there. So let me get rid of that. Oh, I can't reach it. There we go. We're going to place a block right above this redstone right here. And then we're going to come over a block and then place two pieces of redstone here. One, two, place the block right above it right here and place your button on top of it. So when I click the button, the redstone comes on. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing we did over here, except it's gonna be a little bit more tight because we have the hook here now. So we're gonna come out two more blocks, one, two. Then we're gonna bring it down a block and place redstone all along them, one, two, three. Then we're gonna come down a block once again and place redstone on top of it here. Come down another block going this way with a piece of redstone. And then we're gonna place two more pieces of redstone right here, so one, two. Then off this block, we're gonna break it out place a piston facing upwards, and then on the other side of this piston, place in a repeater on three ticks delayed. The reason why I'm telling you to do this, so you don't accidentally touch your tripwire hook right here, because if you touch it, it will break it. And then right off this block right here, we're gonna break this block and place our piston facing upwards like we did on the other side. So right in front of your three tick delayed repeater, place in another piston right here facing upwards, and then go ahead and place in your armor stand. Then go ahead and place back in your sand block, and that is it guys, you are completely done. So if I click the button, as you can see, our bridge will retract. And then when I click the button again, our bridge will extend out and it will do the exact same thing on this side as well. Click the button, our bridge will retract. Click the button again and our bridge will extend back out. Now all we have to do is just clean it up and we will be completely done. So I'm going to be making my bridge out of stone bricks and I'm also going to be using obsidian. Like I said, I highly recommend using furnaces because it's a lot easier to get. But we're going to place two more pieces of obsidian here and a piece of obsidian right here as well. And then right on top of our slime blocks, what I like to do is place a half slab here and a half slab here. Then I like to place in a staircase like this. And then I like to place in a piece of stone right here as well. And that's going to be our entire bridge done. So next up, let's go ahead and put in our slab. So come right over here to where your block is and your button and just bring it out till it's right above your slime blocks. And then we're going to place one more coming in so we can go right across our bridge like this. See, we can go right across it. And then we're going to bring out our slabs going all the way down to here where our slime blocks will reach. So if I come over here and click my button, as you can see, the slime blocks come all the way down to here and we don't want them touching the slime blocks. So as you can see right here, it will not touch the slime blocks. And then you can go ahead and make a little design out of it if you want to, like I did over, where is it? <laughs> it's all the way over there. But we're just gonna make a nice little design out. What I like to do is right from this last one is bring it in one more like this. And then I like to bring it in one again right here just to make a cool little design out of it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. So just bringing it one in. And then we're going to bring it one in once again so we can make this cool little design. And then you can fill in the rest with regular blocks. You don't have to worry about that touching any of your redstone. It shouldn't ruin anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest with stone like this. And then I'm going to fill in this last little corner, I guess, with, uh, you know, what? let's just do stone again. We'll just do stone again like that. And then I'll just bring it out one more thing on this side with stone just so it looks nice. So there we go. I'm going to bring it all the way down to here so everything looks good. And we're going to do the same exact thing we did here on this side as well. So take out your slabs and just bring your slabs till it's right above your bridge like that. And then we're going to bring it out one more this way. And then we're going to bring it all the way down until we reach the end of where our slime blocks will be going. So one more out because this will pull in and then push out. And then what we're going to do is just come in one. And then we're going to come in one once again. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So just come in one right here. Like this. There we go. And then come in one once again. And now all we have to do is just fill in the area with our extra blocks. So I'm going to take out my stone again. And I'm just going to fill in the, this whole entire area with my stone blocks like this. There we go. And I'm going to fill in more on this side as well. And I'm going to just bring it out one more again so it just matches up the area. So bring it out one again. You know, let me let me just break out this whole thing. I'm going to get real. I'm a real stickler when it comes to making everything look nice and even. So I'm just going to break out this whole little area right here as well. There we go. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You could have ended the video if you wanted to. But we're going to go ahead and just fill in this whole entire area so everything looks nice. So like I said, do not touch the tripwire hooks or you can break it. But it's very easy to fix it in case it does break. But what I like using here is glowstone. You must use a transparent block here because the tripwires are right here underneath it. So we must place a transparent block right here. If you place a normal block here, it will break this it will break the trip wires so do not place a normal block here so i also like to place a piece of glowstone right above it as well and then we can go ahead and fill in the rest with our stone bricks i guess i'll just do the entire thing out of stone bricks so let's go ahead and fill in this whole entire area with our stone bricks like this there we go and bring it all the way to the top 
and make sure not to fill in this hole right here because that's where it's going to be extending out and there is one whole side completely done and all we have to do is this side as well so take out your removable objects and place one right here and place one right here as well and then we're just going to fill in the area with our stone so let me go ahead and just get rid of that and fill in this entire area and then we're going to fill all the way down to here and like i said you must place a transparent block here that's why i use glowstone and i placed another one right here like this and then we're going to fill in the rest of the area with our stone do not place one right here because that's where our bridge will be extending out and then place it all in and there you guys have it the whole entire thing is cleaned up you can do whatever you want down here but when we click the button our bridge extends all the way out and then when we click the button again it will retract all the way back in and then what i like to do is throw down some lava so i just went ahead and skipped through and placed in the lava so click the button our bridge will extend out and then we can go ahead and cross our bridge and then once we get to this side click the button again and the bridge will retract back in and there you guys have it that is how you build a working bridge where you don't have to touch the slime blocks if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace